Some time has passed since Rulo inspired the organizers of the history competition to enforce a fair regulation. This year's contest is closing in fast, and there have been rumors that the land's administration will hire internationally reputed teachers to help all interested children with pre-exam preparations. It appears that this year the focus will be on training and encouraging performance. Rulo is happy with the news. Things, however, are not what they seem. The initiator of the law that will grant children access to training with reputed history professors is none other than Mr. Cobble, but his plan hides a different interest. This year, everyone around Mr. Cobble, his relatives, his friends, complain that the history subjects are too difficult and that their children struggle in schools and need additional help. In truth, he has the same problem with his son. As such, he decided to use the history competition as a pretext to spend the land's money for his children and his friends' children. Because everyone in the group lives in Trampoline, the capital of the land, the law says that in order to benefit from the opportunity of learning with these teachers, you have to reside in the capital. The official argument is that Trampoline hosts the only airport in the land, which is needed to transport the teachers. With this law, Mr. Cobble is very close to make due on his promise and help the children of his friends and relatives, including his own son, get better grades in school. He doesn't care that all the other children will be deprived of this opportunity. Learning about this law, Rulo, however, disagrees with Mr. Cobble. Remembering the success that he had writing to the organizers of the competition last year, he decides to write again, only that this time he wants to send a public message to all of the land's television networks. In his message, Rulo explains that the resources of the land should not be used to favor only a small group of children. The law should give all children an equal opportunity to take part in preparation lessons with the internationally reputed teachers that the land has identified and should not favor the children that live in trampoline. In addition, Ruler writes that the argument that only trampoline hosts an airport is only a pretext, as the teachers can be transported across the land using the train system. After Rulo's message gets aired on all the land's televisions, Cobble's plan crumbles to pieces. The public also learns of the poor school performance of his son, as well as many other children of his friends and relatives, and finally understands his real intentions. Ashamed by the discovery of his mischief, Mr. Cobble changes the law and gives all children the possibility of taking part in the pre-exam trainings. His son and all of his friends will have to wait in line like everyone else and will have to work harder this year to get better grades. Is it fair what Mr. Cobble tried to do? How should decisions be taken in general when it comes to using the resources of the land? Should they favor the interest of a group and disadvantage all others? Or should they tend to the interests of the public?